Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's hop right in to this week's video. As you all have seen from the thumbnail, I'm using this bath mat that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I'm making sure that I spray paint the front side because the back side does not need to be spray painted because it will not be showing. I'm reusing five of the circle mirrors that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well. I'm adding craft sticks to help hold my mirrors together. I'm just laying my bath mat right on top and I'm gonna cut around my mirrors. And this part was a little challenging, but patience is key. As I was cutting my bath mat, I noticed I can see the yellow and orange craft sticks through my mirrors. So I'm gonna use some of the bath mat to cover those areas up. I did not add glue to the entire bath mat, just the majority of it. The edges don't look too good on this side, so I'm gonna use some of these gems to cover that up. I love how elegant this looks. Let me know if you would recreate this down in the comments. For this next project, I'm reusing five of the square mirrors that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well. These three are the five by five, and I believe these two are the four by five. As I always say, if you are going to recreate any of my projects, please use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. For this step, I'm basically repeating the same exact steps as I did for the first project.
I'm loving the look of this. It was super easy and affordable to make. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For this third project, I'm using the shower curtain rings and all I'm doing is gluing them on top of each other. I picked up this onion grass from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm taking these outside to spray paint them. For decoration, I'm gluing a leftover piece of the bath mat right on top of my shower curtain rings. I'm adding pearl wrap for more decoration. I'm stuffing some of this paper in the bottom to give my onion grass a little bit more height. Since there is so much room in here, I'm using some of this felt roll to stabilize my onion grass. I'm adding some gems to cover the felt roll up. Who would guess these are shower curtain rings in a bath mat? I'm loving how this turned out, but let me know what y'all think. I have 12 packs of these shower curtain rings here, and instead of taking the plastic off, I'm going to glue them all together while they're still in the pack to save myself some time. I'm using this craft stick to help me apply the E6000 glue and then later on you guys will see me adding the hot glue as well. I didn't add glue around the entire perimeter, I just made two vertical lines. For this part, I'm just gluing them all together by twos. Now I'm adding glue right in the center of each row. I'm using this foam board to help mold all my shower curtain rings together. This foam board will not be showing. I don't like how dull the silver looks, so I'm respray painting these gold. I'm using strips of my bath mat to place in the center of my shower curtain rings to cover up the imperfections.
Now I'm decorating with my clear acrylic gems that I purchased from Dollar Tree. The gems added the perfect touch to my wall decor piece and I'm loving how it turned out. This can also be used as a table base. Comment below which was your favorite project for this week.